Hello and welcome back. I'm Scott. And I'm Allison. And we are Jarhead, Jarhead and Ginger's, Ginger's Journey. Journey. Today, we're going to take you on a tour of Thousand Trails Tall Chief in Fall City, Washington. Come on. We are here in the community center or clubhouse. Um, they have uh, it divided into two separate sections. In this section, we have uh, the pool table and a sitting area with TV. And you can see the pool is out that window. We'll go out there in a bit. And on the other side, they have some tables and vending machine and um, they have Wi-Fi here. We couldn't get it to work. Somebody else could. So you have to use it at your own risk, I guess. <laughs> They do have a pool here at uh, Tall Chief. It is currently COVID closed, but they do have all the chairs and stuff out. So hopefully they're getting ready to um, maybe open it up for the season. They do have putt-putt here also. They have this nice, um, well upkept nine hole course. It's pretty fun too. We came out and played it a few days ago. Well, we're supposed to be giving you a tour of the Thousand Trails Tall Chief, but we found the playground and there's nobody here. So I'm gonna take advantage of this. Just over from the playground, they do actually have a couple of horseshoe pits. Not bad at all. And here we have the basketball and tennis court. Here in the laundromat, they have four washers and six dryers. They also have a couple of vending machines. The um, washers and dryers do take card. So you can use your credit card right here. This is the main bathhouse. They have a men's and women's separate bathhouse. Um, toilets and showers, uh, just the basics. And they also have a bathhouse at the pool, but it's not open 24 hours like this one is. It's pretty standard bathhouse, guys. Both of them were occupied, so we couldn't take you inside. Uh, we may come back later and try it again. Here's the dump station here, guys. There is a Class A in there, uh, but it is um, two lanes. There's uh, one on each side you could get, so you could do two RVs at a time, could be dumping in here. Yeah? Again, pretty standard thing uh, at most of the RV parks, oh, especially Thousand yeah. Trails. There are signs along the main road throughout the park that tell you the way to your site. You can pick your own site, so drive through and choose the one that looks best for your rig. Tall Chief Thousand Trails is part of the Encore Collection. It's located about half an hour to 45 minutes outside of Seattle. It is the closest Thousand Trails to the Seattle area. Beautiful wooded campsites. There are only 30 amp hookups. There are no sewer sites, but there is a dump station. There are no breed restrictions on pets. However, there, it is limited to two pets per campsite. All dogs must remain on a leash. And there are some dog 
walk areas, but there is not a fenced in dog park at this location. This is a clubhouse. Um, currently there are no activities, but hopefully they will resume soon. As you can see from this shot, half of the park is up a fairly uh, decent grade uh, here. So off the main road, if you take a right, you're going up a hill. If you take a left to get to your loop, you're going down a small hill. We came up this with our RV and didn't have any trouble at all. So it's not that big of a deal. It just looks steep. Here are the cabins that are available for you to rent. They look pretty nice. Looks like they all come with their own barbecue and a picnic table and a fire ring. So that's pretty cool. And satellite TV. The only Wi-Fi at the park is available at the lodge and the clubhouse. The cell signal here, however, is pretty good. Yeah, we have Verizon. We use Visible, so we use the Verizon towers and we have three to four bars here. They do have a small storage area here. It's normally under lock and key. You can see it does say restricted area on the fencing there. So if you need a place to store your RV, they do have that also. And this is the exit. You can see for a bigger RV, it may be a little bit uh, tight. It was very tight. We've been here and gone once already, and I was worried about the exit. But as long as you stay over here as far to the right as you can get in your bigger uh, RVs, uh, it's not um, that big of a problem. With this uh, rock wall on the side here and the, the poles on the right, it is pretty tight, but you can do it even with a big RV. As you can see in that last uh, clip, getting out of that place was pretty tight. Um, also, uh, something that we didn't show was coming in off the main road. The uh, entry and exit there was maybe about a half a mile off the main road. And once you come off of that main road, it's again, it's a pretty steep grade, eight to 10%. Then it levels out a little bit and goes up another grade before you even get into that park. Um, it seemed like most it, actually, all of the parks that we went to on the west side had some kind of entry exit that uh, required you to go up a steep grade. Um, and a lot of them that were, uh, most of them were really wooded, so uh, you have to watch for the low hanging branches as well. Despite the issues with the entrances and the exits, um, I would say that this is our favorite thousand trails in Washington that we've been to. Um, simply because it's the closest to Seattle, closest to all of our family that lives in that area. And there is so much to do, y'all. There's right there, there's Snoqualmie Falls, there's Fall City, there's the kangaroo wallaby farm that we showed you, the river with tubing and fishing and all the river activities. I hear there's some great hikes, um, you, you know, close enough to explore Seattle or make a day trip to Leavenworth or Rainier, <laughs> just on and on, lots to do. Absolutely. Uh, there's so much that we didn't get to show you and uh, so much of the city that we're not going to. Um, I just refuse to go into big cities anymore, uh, especially in my truck. You can't find a place to park them. Um, and well, I take that back, especially not the Seattle city. I've been there plenty. Um, 
and it's a little bit crazy for me right now. So maybe next time we are up here, it'll be mellowed out and we'll actually take you into Seattle. But I, I kind of doubt it. I hope so. Seattle <laughs> is so beautiful. I just don't want to go with all the problems right now. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're ever in uh, Western Washington and you want a good park that's centrally located, definitely check out Tall Chief. I That's think right. it's, a, it's a definitely a good park to, uh, to hit. I agree. My favorite <laughs> in Washington. So far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're still here until the end, thanks for sticking around. We'll see you next time on Jarhead, Jarhead and, and Ginger's, Ginger's Journey. Journey. Bye. Bye.